Bobo C. Tiberius here with Black White Martyr Proc. This hand is very good. I like this hand a lot. So we're going to keep it and go from there. We're going to start with the Emiria. And it would be nice to draw an untapped mana source before turn three so we can safely cast Ranger Cap. Though it, I'm not. The plan doesn't completely dissolve if we can't. Our opponent plays a Scalding Tarn and passes. We're okay with that. Wrath of God for us, so we will put Martyr onto the battlefield, ready to crack. I am not going to crack right away, just because I want to leave a path in case this is uh, perhaps Storm and we have to end up pathing their Baral. Hollowed Fountain for our opponent. And they opt. So, interesting start for our opponent. Island. And they pass. So now we can safely crack, I suppose. This could just be a black-white control deck that had red fetches. Not a big deal. We get the card we were hoping for. And I'm going to cast Rangers, try to make them counter it right away. And they will. Logic Knot. So, very much a control deck going on here. So that Path and that Wrath aren't going to be as useful as we'd hoped. Polluted Delta for our opponent. Counterbalance. Hmm. I guess the best time to do it is now. They can absolutely just reveal a card and counter us, but they're tapped out. They reveal an op, so it looks like we will resolve this ranger cap. Very thankful about that because it allows us to start getting some pressure on if they can't do anything about it. Opponent cracks. And will path right away. Down to four cards in hand is our opponent. We have two planes, so not doing great with turning on Emeria, but not doing too badly either. We will get to Field of Ruin pretty quick, pretty soon here. Ooh, I like that Crucible of Worlds. If I could resolve that Crucible of Worlds, I'd be a very happy man. We will not pay two life. Let's try to. Let's make them counter here. They show an island off the counterbalance, so they have to actually counter it. Omen of the Sea will allow them to scry. From there, though, they can't counter the Crucible. So we're in really good shape here now because we can start using Field of Ruin pretty aggressively. And we have a 6-6. Six, six. Very happy about that. Ranger of Eos for us. 
The only bad news about this is they probably run a significant number of basics. They float white, which tells us we may have to deal with a path here pretty soon. And we're just going to keep aggressively attacking their lands here. And getting our basics out of the deck. They use that mana to cast Omen of the Sea. Maybe they don't have a path. Will we just be able to get in here? That would be wonderful. And when I was talking earlier about not having critical mass for Emiria, this is what I'm talking about. And in hindsight, maybe I should be running an extra planes or two an extra planes instead of the misfail. It wouldn't get us there, but it's not a bad call here. I really want to hit a fetch pretty soon. That will get us where we're going in no time. They crack themselves down to seven. Mystic Sanctuary to put Path on top. We can only imagine. Put Opt on top. That's interesting. Oh, and they'll draw cards here, maybe? Draw that opt right away? Oh, interesting. Okay. I feel like saving that for my... No, they can't really save it for my turn, because then they get Field of Ruined again. Four cards in hand for our opponent. Let's see if they have the answer to this Sarah. And from there, I'm going to cast Ranger of Eos to... If they do answer this Sarah, I'm going to cast Ranger of Eos to get Crucible down. Archmage's Charm answers it. That's that's real. Let's see if they have counterbalance. They show us a flooded strand. And what we'll do here is we'll get Sarah, Sarah, cast one of the Sarahs, because they showed us a flooded strand. And then play Field of Ruin, play Crucible. They do Force of Negation the Crucible. That's bad news. That's not as, as great for us. But no harm, no foul so far. They get themselves down to six. Fetching a Prairie Stream. And using Terminus. Down to zero cards in hand is our opponent. Let's see if they can counterbalance their way out of this. They cannot. While they're tapping, let's take some of their lands away. 
I want to take them off of white so they can't path or wrath if they allow me. They haven't drawn their card for turn yet, so they can still terminus. They're deciding whether or not to look at it. They do. Will it give them what they need? Omen of the Sea. And they concede. So we we scoop up a good game game there. And that's really good for us to get to get a, a good win against a control deck. I'm going to bring in Camball, Celestial Purge, and Disenchant. I guess we can disenchant the counterbalance. I'm going to bring in Spyglass because I assume they run Walkers. But we'll leave the Hex Parasite in the side just in case. Uh, Kami is not necessary here. Um. I'm going to cut two paths here. I do want to keep in the ores off charms. Cut one big ranger and the cleansing nova and go from there. I'm very happy to steal that first one from him. And we get a Weathered Wayfarer, which I love. I actually really like this hand. We're going to slam that Weathered Wayfarer down right away to try to get Cavern. We didn't see any Field of Ruins, but there's a good chance they have them. We're even on the play, too. This is a great hand for Weathered Wayfarer. So I'm going to fetch a basic here to do it, just to try to save my life total. I like that Soren as well. If we can resolve that Soren, we can play stuff out of the graveyard pretty consistently. They play a basic and then counterbalance. So we'll be able to get the cavern right away. And we'll put a godless shrine out tapped and pass. Great start for us so far. I'm going to not activate Weathered Wayfair just because they can flood it strand. They choose not to uh, show us anything with counterbalance. We'll take cheap damage here. Weathered Wayfair has kind of done its job at this point.
Omen of the Sea, Archmage's Charm. Planes for our opponent. We will crack here and gain 15 life, going up to 34. And we can start playing Sarah Ascendants safely this turn. Gala Shrine. So we will activate here. Start pulling lands out of our deck as much as possible. I do kind of want to look at their hand here, but I think I'm going to save Source of Spyglass and just play another Shockland Tapped. Just slowly get our, our lands up, up for our opponent. And next turn we can start playing Rangers and get even more Sarahs if we so choose. If we're able to activate Weathered Wayfarer next turn, I think we start getting Misfail Planes, so we can put the Sarahs back. I thought I clicked Field of Ruin. Apparently I can't click Ghost Quarter. Waka Waka. Feeling pretty good about our position here. They do not play a land, so we won't get to activate Weathered Wayfarer. So we will just play a Ghost Quarter here. And then we'll cast Ranger. I'm going to get Sarah in Ballista here. Just so I have the Ballista lying around. And they... Archmage's Charm. Looking for their Wrath instead of just taking my Sarah. Since I have two more that they know of. If they don't have an answer here, we can put them in the position to not be able to fetch by attacking with everything. We can actually also just kill them, potentially, if they don't have a counter spell. So let's see. I'm going to swing with everything and see how they react to that. Omen of the Sea for our opponent. Looking for their terminus or a path, I imagine. They do find a path, which is fine with us. Not fine with us, but it is what it is. I'm going to take this moment to Sorcerer Spyglass, see if we can pop it off. They reveal an opt. And we see a lot of fun stuff in their hand here. Um, hmm. I'm going to name Teferi. Though the Ashiok is obnoxious. I don't think it's as obnoxious here. But it is obnoxious nonetheless.
bummer for them that they got stuck on lands. And see if they have an answer. They they do have a cryptic that we know of. So they could use it here to tap us down. And they will. I'm going to take this moment to play another ranger and pull more cards out of the deck. We are officially out of one drops in the deck. No need to play anything else, however, because we are presenting more than enough for lethal. At this point, we're presenting lethal through a path. They get a prayer stream. There's the Emiria we've wanted. Scry two for our opponent. I don't know what they could get here. Like, I still kill them through path. Maybe a Terminus. Terminus would work. And they concede. So, a really good, really good, really good game one for, uh, game for us here. Beating out a deck that can really be a nuisance. Coming, Cavern of Souls, Weather Braver and Cavern of Souls being huge for us. Huge, 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 huge. We will see you in the next one.